Hello again. Today we're going to be looking at the new GoPro Hero 5. I've just got this in and um, I had to wait a couple of weeks for it to come because uh, I live in Vietnam and sometimes it's a bit slow getting things. Uh, but we're going to do a full review and I'll do a test at the end of the film. Here is a closer look at the edge of the box. Press pause now. And as we turn it over to the other side, here is the other side of the box from top left, the photograph 12 megapixel at 30 frames per second burst, time lapse, the video is 4K by 30, 1440p by 80, 1080p by 120, it's 33 feet or 10 meters waterproof, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, advanced wind noise reduction, voice control, video stabilization, Stereo audio mic input. It has a small two inch touchscreen display, GPS, and of course, RAW. Right, time to undo this. Let me just find my knife. Here we go. No, oh, that was easy. Usually, there's a, a tape at the top of the box, and you have to run the tape all the way around, and the top comes off. This time it's in the bottom. Right, let's open this up. Oh, right, it has a blue tab. And that pulls downwards. Okay. Right, here we go. The inside of the box is pretty much the same as all of the others. Uh, slightly different design, obviously. Uh, we've got some instructions here on how to take the GoPro off of the top mount. Lots of people say to keep this mount um, because you can use it in various situations. I haven't used one yet, but it is good advice. Right, let's see how generous they've been with the accessories this year. Yeah, the same old stuff. <laughs> I don't know why everything else, SJ Cam and all the other manufacturers, they supply lots of things, but GoPro, very, very mean. Here we go. So all of the accessories and the camera are laid out. This is the, the new style housing that GoPro are giving you. It's got a, a very thin rubber coating. I'm not going to say gasket, just a coating that keeps the camera from moving around inside. And that clips. It's got a cutout for the power button. And it's got a, a rubberized power button and a cutout the other side. On the bottom, it's got the standard GoPro prong and the new style clip that we saw with the Hero Session. I'm a little disappointed because the battery is different to the Hero 4 and the 3. Um, I suppose GoPro will say that they had to do it for the waterproofing or better quality lithium cell. I have no idea. Anyway, the batteries are different. Um, they're not interchangeable. Here they've included the exact same thumb screw, two of the wonderful, amazing sticky mounts that you can get anywhere, and the Type C USB charging cable, which again is different to the Hero 4 and the Hero 3. So if you've got those cables, they won't fit. The camera itself is a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier than the Hero 4. But it does have this nice rubberized waterproof housing. Um, the buttons, the first two, one or two times you open it, are very, very stiff, um, but they open okay after a few attempts. The Type C charger goes in that slot, and at the bottom we have the battery compartment. Uh, if I can get it open, there we go, and I'll show you inside here a bit closer. Here we can see a close-up of the battery compartment door. Uh, inside here you have the battery and also the micro SD card. And put the battery in. Um, micro SD card first. Goes in the slot in the bottom here with the battery instead of inside. And we put the battery in. It has a nice click and the door closes. On the back we've got a protective sticker. I'll just take that off. There we go. 
and it's got a nice new screen. You can't put an extended battery pack on the back of this. It won't fit like it does with the Hero 4. Um, the power button is on the side as well. There's no buttons on the front anymore. Uh, it's a, a very different camera. Right, having a look at the menu, I'll close up. Um, right, I'll just fill in some of the details. The menu seems quite nice. The touch screen doesn't seem to... Oh, I see. Okay, if you push the touch screen, it won't work. You just have to touch it very, very gently. Very lightly, you just flick it and it works very nicely. All right, set the time and date. And we move on and I'll show you some of the other menus on the the new GoPro Hero 5. Okay, that's the time just about done. All right, GPS. No, I'm going to switch that off for now, save the battery. Um, camera tour. Yes, let's take the camera tour. All right, so on the side is the home button, uh, sorry, mode button. Moving across here. Okay, shutter button. Yeah, I think we know what that is. Okay. Okay. Lots of information. Okay, and we've got the frames. Change the frames. Yeah, again, you've got to touch it very lightly, very, very gently. Okay, maybe there's an update for this. This screen seems to be a bit unresponsive. It works sometimes great, other times no. Maybe it's just a tutorial. Okay, mobile apps. Yeah. Okay. It, if this is your, your first GoPro, then you're going to love this because it shows you everything you need to know about it. All right, okay, here we go with the, the viewer. It looks nice and clean. It's a uh, high resolution. I just can't get it to work. Come on. No, something I'm doing wrong. Now what? Battery flat? No? I okay. Here we go again. Alright, I'm gonna keep playing with this screen, and see if it works. Let me know in the comments if you've got one of these and if your screen is unresponsive at times like this one. Right, here we go with the frame rate. The ones that are lit up white are the ones that you can use. If it's greyed out, then you can't use that one. So I'm just going to set it to 1080p, 60 frames per second. And later on, I'm going to take the camera to a Halloween party and um, see if I can do a bit of recording there so you can see some footage. It will be inside, so it's always good to see some inside footage. This GoPro has voice activated commands as well. Um, I'll try that a bit later. We just finished setting up with the video. Okay, so video's in 1080p, 60 frames a second, and the camera stills are on 12 megapixel. Here's the front of the GoPro Hero 5. Tell me in the comments below what you think of it. I said earlier, there's no front button on this one. You can't use the front button. Side button's the same, top button's the same. It's a bit heavier than the GoPro Hero 4. Right, so I've got it set up now with the camera app. Um, as you can see, the, there was a slight delay, a little bit of lag there, but not too bad. Let's try out the voice commands. GoPro, take a video. Okay. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, a little bit of a delay, but it seems to work fine. 
GoPro, start recording. Right, excellent. Okay. Right, there we go. So there's the app. The commands work okay. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. There we go. There we go. So as far as the voice commands go, you can set those up on the camera and you can have various different languages. Um, you can have English and English US. So that's good if you're from overseas. Um, and it does seem to work very well, but I am quite close. And here is a small test clip taken at the Halloween party that evening. Mm -hmm.